Say hi, Gray. Hi. Hey everybody, so it's um, the next day. Um, I wasn't able to really film anything of last night, but as I've been talking about in my vlogs, last night um, we had a surprise birthday party for Anthony. Um, and so it was super fun. He was totally shocked, had no idea um, that it was happening. I told him that we were just gonna have a dinner, just us two um, at this restaurant. And he was just like, okay, whatever. And then um, they, we went to the restaurant and they let us in and we like went through like the whole restaurant and then they took us in through like the exit door. And I'm sure like he was thinking, what is going on? And then they finally opened the door. They had like this separate room where we were in, which was awesome. It was just our group. And, um, and Anthony walked in first. I made sure he went first and then everybody yelled surprise and he was totally shocked, totally surprised. We had um, his buddies that he hangs out with weekly. My siblings came. His good friend from like preschool, middle school, grade school, high school came um, that he hasn't seen in a couple years. And so it was really, really fun. Um, there was about 22 of us. So it was a huge group. I keep saying it was really fun. I had these cute little decorations. I'll show you guys. Um, so these were the cupcakes left over. I had 24 of them and this is what's left. So that was pretty good. But I got these off Etsy. They're just like toothpicks of Anthony's head. But I found it on Etsy and I just sent a picture of him and then the Etsy creator put a hat with a 30 on it. And then I also had like more, um, sophisticated ones that had like 30 and 1992 on them um, so those are my little decorations I didn't go too crazy because I know Anthony wouldn't want all that um, and then uh, after we ordered food and while we were waiting for our food I had games for all of us to play and they weren't much but it was like who knows Anthony best and um trivia about 1992 the year he was born and then 90s slang so it was really fun everybody had a good time with that and then um, after dinner a few of us continued the party and we went to a local bar that was just like right down the street called pins and it had um arcade games you could play for free and drinks and yeah it was just a really good time i think we didn't come home until like 1 a.m last night so we were out really late my parents were super nice and took the kids and had a sleepover at their house so we didn't have to worry about the kids and being home by a certain time so it was really fun and i think anthony had a great time he had a couple shots he had some beers um, of course, I didn't drink anything. I was just being entertained by everybody else. Um, I was the DD, <laughs> but it was so much fun. Um, it was a great time. I was so stressed about it. I called the restaurant like a couple days before, like, you do know we are coming, right? And they're like, yeah, we have you down. And I was making sure everybody could come. Everybody said that they could come. Um, there was only one person who said they couldn't. So other than that, everybody who I asked came. It was actually really awesome that everybody could make it. It actually was the best because we did it on a Friday night, his actual birthday, because so many people had things going on today on Saturday. But because I did it on a Friday night, so many people had that just that evening open that they could all make it work. So it was perfect. It just worked out so great. How lucky was I that his birthday was on a Friday this year? I don't know how that happened, but it was perfect. And so we celebrated him turning 30 and now he's done. <laughs> and I don't have to worry about it anymore. I don't have to stress about it anymore. And yeah, I can now put that on my resume. I planned a surprise birthday party. I've never done that before. So that was really fun. So now it's the next day. We had Grayson's soccer game this morning. It's the afternoon now. Porter's taking that, but we had Gray's soccer game. Grayson, how was soccer today? Great. How did you do? I kicked my ball and kicked it to the goal. Kicked it into the goal? Yeah. How many times did you score? Three goals. Three goals? Yeah. You are so awesome, dude. You guys, he shocked me today. Grayson is not an aggressive one. He's usually one to be more towards the back and like stay away from the ball. But for some reason today, he was just like a light switched or something. And when they like they do 30 minutes of like practice and they just do like fun games and like dribble and toe taps and stuff like that. And then the last like 15 minutes, they will um, 
scrimmage another team and it'll be like four on four or three on three or whatever so and usually he does really good at the practice part but then the scrimmage part he's always like very timid doesn't want to touch the ball for some reason today he was like so inspired or into it I don't know what it was but he scored the goal three times which is crazy because before that like every time we'd have a game you could count on your hand like how many times he touched the ball and like the most he's ever gotten before was like an assist where he would kick it to his teammate and then his teammate would score it but today I don't know he was aggressive he was pushing people out of the way he kept trying to touch the ball with his hands we need to work on that but he scored the ball three times in the goal never has done that before I was so shocked so that was awesome. And it's beautiful weather. It's going to be like mid 70s all weekend, which is shocking because all like leading up to this, it's been freezing. I think on Monday it was like a high of 48 or something. So to have it 70s this weekend is like crazy and it's sunny and warm and awesome. So yeah, great weather for that. So Porter's taking a nap, like I said. We're watching the UC football game right now. We're up at half. So hopefully we continue to uh, win and score and lead the game i don't know so we're doing that and then after porter wakes up from his nap and our game is over we're actually going to go to my sister kelly's house and we are going to carve pumpkins today it's um a little over a week until halloween halloween is a week from monday and today's saturday so yeah a little over a week so now is the time to carve you don't want to carve pumpkins too early because then they rot and the bugs get to them and they don't last till halloween but you don't want to wait till it's too close because then you do all that work and then they're out for like a day and then you know what was all that for so the perfect time to go is like the weekend before halloween which this basically is and so we're gonna carve i actually got a kit for the boys um here i'll show you guys um i don't have them carve pumpkins because that's just work on anthony and i and we don't need that um and so every year i get like this little painting kit i'll show you guys i think i got this exact one last year so it just has little paints and then it has like stickers you can stick on and uh the boys love it they just paint and make whatever creations they want so they have like different eyes nose ears whatever and then I, I guess it comes with some um model magic some glue and maybe some glitter so this is what we're, they're gonna do with their pumpkins each of the boys has their own pumpkin and then anthony and i got a pumpkin to share up until now we've done our own pumpkins but i think we're just kind of getting over it i mean it's a lot of work like you have to cut it all out to scoop out the guts then you gotta figure out like what design you want to do and then cut it all out and it's a lot so we're just gonna do one between the two of us but everybody's gonna do a pumpkin at my sister's house and yeah it's just gonna be fun i think we're gonna have some pizza and hang out so i will uh vlog when we get over there and show you all like what everybody comes up with design wise um it's always a good mix and there's always a lot of us so there's a lot of different pump pumpkins to design I'm excited for that. And then tomorrow, we're actually going to go. Our local zoo does like a Halloween event on weekends leading up to Halloween. And every weekend, you can go with your kids and dress them up in their Halloween outfits and take their um, goodie bags. And they can go trick-or-treat at the zoo. They have like 13 stations lined up and you can go and trick-or-treat. And the zoo's all like decorated with pumpkins and fall things. So we're going to go tomorrow take advantage of this nice weather and go. My sister and I are going to take the kiddos. It's going to be super fun. So I'll definitely vlog that too. Hopefully Porter will wear his outfit. Um, he likes the trick or treat. He likes the candy. He is not crazy about wearing the costume though. Every time I tell him he's going to put on his costume, he tells me no. True two-year-old stubborn no so we'll see if we can convince him to wear it gray loves his costume so he will be easy but porter is a little more stubborn so we'll see but yeah a lot going on but overall a great start to the weekend with that fun birthday party last night i was shocked because usually when i can't drink i usually don't have that much fun 
because everybody else is having a good time getting buzzed and I'm just, you know, sober by myself. But for some reason last night, I was just, I don't know if it was the adrenaline from like having the surprise go so well or being kid free or what, but I was just like content last night to not drink and just to watch everyone else get drunk. And yeah, it was actually really fun. So I'm glad it happened. I'm glad it's over. And we're just going to keep going with all the Halloween fall activities. So I will pick this camera back up when we get to my sister's house for carving. Blue. Yeah. Oh, are you painting? Orange. Oh, good job, Gray. You're doing so good. Yeah. Remember one year, Dad, you drill out and you drill all your names in them? Yes. Everybody's carving. Crazy because last year we did this and it was the weather was horrible. Oh yeah. And this year it's so nice. I'm not done. We don't have extra knives. I'm not done. I'm not done painting my pumpkin. The dummy. So once we finish making it, we leave it still for a while and it'll dry and it'll keep that shape. So what should we make? This is Florida's pumpkin that I mostly did. <laughs> and here's Anthony doing all of our pumpkins. Yeah. I well, I drew it. For, you know. No, I took credit for Borders. Yeah, good job. Uh, okay. <laughs> Not yours. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't insult the artist. Good. Okay, now with this, let's make a ball. You put it down. And go. Allison's helping Gray. Yeah. I'm going to make it into a ball.